Oh my gosh, is that a new Tofu Ninja hat for sale at crowdmade.com? I think it is. And ooh, what could that possibly be? Yeah, who cares? The video's starting. Over the years, I have been bombarded by my friends to play this game called League of Legends, lol for short. For the most part, I have been avoiding this game because I know the dangers it presents in terms of how time consuming it can be. You know, it's not a very good combination with a job that also consumes a lot of my time. And you know, it comes with that lovely online community. <laughs> but for the sake of friendship and bonding, I said, fine. Also because they said that they would play StarCraft 2 with me finally, but they still haven't. So that was probably a lie. I've been duped! Now back to LOL. League of Legends requires a lot of micro and macro, as in the usage of hotkeys. But because I've played StarCraft 2, which is another micro slash macro heavy game, I figured the transition should be pretty smooth and that I will pick it up in no time. Well, so after going through the League of Losers, the tutorials, it was time for me to choose my first ever champion. Since I didn't know who was good out of the three available characters, I decided to choose purely based on who aligned with my interests and values. And it turned out that this misfortune was the closest. I mean, I love the ocean. She is on the ocean. She's also a pirate, and Pirates of the Caribbean is like one of my favorite movies. Also, I was hoping that she would bring me good fortune, you know, hence the name. So, look out world, I am ready for the fields of justice. Fortune doesn't favor fools. Shortly afterwards, I am placed in the first game ever with my friends, and it suddenly occurs to me just how immensely overwhelming this all is. There's a vast library of items, I have no idea what they do. There's a jungle filled with very unfriendly looking animals. And on top of that, everyone is super high leveled, skilled, and scary looking. And then there's me, who's not any of those things. Welcome to multiplayer. Um, <laughs> can we call subs? Nope. So there I was, well into the match, trying to recall everything that I learned in the tutorials to no avail. My friends tried to help, and I do truly give them kudos for trying to give me a crash course while fighting, but it absolutely did me no good when they started using words that I had no idea what they meant. Go bot lane. But all the lanes have bots. ADC, CSing, CCing, AP, AD, gank, runes. Nope, not in my vocabulary. And don't even get me started on the words Alex Corner has been using in game. Absolute rubbish. Despite all the chaos and my utter uselessness, my friends carried me and we somehow managed to win. But the entire time, I literally felt like a child being babysat. Because more often than not, I was doing something wrong, and I definitely heard the word no a lot. I have no idea what this item is, but sure looks cool. Yep, don't use that. John, put down a ward, quick. A what? A ward, quick, come on. Oh, you mean this? Yes, yes, put it down. Okay. No, not there, you idiot! Uh, nope, don't go that way. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? So far, I have not been that fortunate, so maybe I am a fool. Okay, but side note, I find it very hard to believe that it is called the Fields of Justice when some level 300 platinum player constantly picks on me who is like level 3 just to get an easy kill. Oh yeah, this must make you feel real good about yourself now, huh? You smurf. Well, that's not very justice-like. Though after that match of misfortune, <laughs> I decided to try out another champion. Now, this game has a massive selection, so it can be hard to pick one, but fortunately, okay, I'll stop. I already had one in mind. So I saved up enough of that blue stuff and purchased Kha'Zix, the praying mantis looking champion. And from there, I honestly thought I was set. We were ready to get out there and make a difference. So the next battle starts and there's already a teeny tiny problem. I have no idea how to use this guy. I mean, I can't rely on my friends to help because their philosophy and teaching was more along the lines of, eh, you'll be fine. Just try him out and when you mess up or in worst case scenario of, oh, I don't know, you get killed, then we'll tell you how to use him. Great, so I went to the top lane. Everything was going okay. I was going through the usual routine of picking on the little minion guys because I mean, that's all I knew to do at the time. But then I spotted my opponent. 
Heimdinger. Yeah. Okay, by appearance alone, it clearly looked like Kha'Zix could totally demolish this guy. So I was like, all right, Kha'Zix, we got this. Let's turn this chump into bug chow. To glory! Ha! Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, to be fair, I should have known from real life example, i.e. the Praying Mantis, that Kha'Zix probably isn't that tanky, and it probably wouldn't have hurt to do a bit more research on him beforehand. But did anyone stop me from jumping headfirst into my demise? No! My opponent must have been really confused and happy at the same time. What the heck is this Kha'Zix doing? Yeah, oh well, free kill I guess. Afterwards, it was revealed to me that Kha'Zix was a jungler and of the assassin class. As in, he levels up from fighting the beasts in the jungle, so top lane was totally wrong, and that there are situations Kha'Zix can go one on one. As in, yes he can, just not me with my current skill level, cause I suck. <sighs> okay, that was pretty rough at first buddy, but now I know what the correct path is for us to achieve glory. It was time for us to learn the ways of the jungle. So I thought that I was getting the hang of things, but it turns out that the art of jungling is like a whole different game. It's like a game within a game. It's a gameception. My brain was just bombarding my soft tofu brain with stuff like the roles and responsibilities of the jungler, list of each creature I will face, what they do, when I should take them on, what order, their biology, dragons, different kinds of dragons, times they appear, I should be on the lookout for the opposing team because they play dirty, do this, do that, don't do this, unless, and so on. Basically, the jungler plays a very important role. If I had to compare it to some other popular franchise, I would say that the jungler is like the seeker in Harry Potter. Except in this case, the opponent seeker is Harry Potter, and I'm the nameless opposing seeker that no one cares about. I'm destined to lose. Oh well, hopefully I remembered all that information because it's already the next game. And guess what? We are the junglers this time. All right, let's see. According to my friend's guide, we are supposed to take on this Golurk looking thing. Or is it that fire bush guy on the other side of the map? Ugh. I have been killed by those blasted jungle animals way more times than I'd like to admit. You know how embarrassing that is? Now on top of that, despite my best efforts, I was always three to four levels behind everyone else, which, you know, makes me not very useful in combat. They're all dealing serious damage, and I can do as much as give a nasty paper cut. So, in the end, we lost. Miserably. Again, and again, and again. Jungling is definitely not easy. But despite all of those humiliating defeats, we weren't gonna give up. No, not until my Kha'Zix becomes the formidable foe I know he can be. So we kept going at it. Sure, we still died from attacking some overgrown chickens, but with hard work, research, Tinja's gameplay, and racking up those kills in practice mode, eventually we came to one match and somehow we were in the right place at the right time. We saw an opportunity, Kha'Zix's killer instincts kicked in, and with the power of friendship and the heart of the cards, we swooped in, and bam, yes, we managed to land our first kill. Get wrecked, player, you just got owned by a bunch of newbies like us. Oh, the sweet taste of victory, and we were killed shortly afterwards. <laughs> we still suck, but hey, we're making progress. Since then, I have been alternating between Misfortune and Kha'Zix, so now I can usually get more than one kill in a game, so, you know, slowly becoming a more useful teammate. I have also begun to explore different champions that I think I would also enjoy, such as Nunu and Aurelian Soul, who is this giant cosmic dragon that throws galaxy pearls and smacks enemies in the face with meteors. Awesome. If there was supposed to be a moral to this story, it would be something like, with everything that you start out with, chances are it is going to be really, 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 completely, just utterly bad, terrible, garbage. It will suck. But I mean, as long as you try to improve and keep going and have fun while doing it, well then who knows? Maybe one day, you might not be that bad.
How was your experience playing League of Legends for the first time? Put it in the comments below so that way I don't feel so bad about myself. <laughs> uh, I really want to thank Pal uh, once again for working on the backgrounds. That's why they look so nice. And I also want to thank my other friend from Unwanted Commentary, Coco, because he played as that raging League player. And I honestly couldn't do that, so he did a good job. And you know what? I should also be thanking my friends for forcing me to play League of Legends because I mean without that well this video wouldn't exist so thank you guys I guess <laughs> you definitely have more time to play that you know with this whole quarantine thing well that's it for this end card thank you all so much for watching I will do my best to make more videos for you guys in a shorter time span but in the meantime stay healthy stay safe and stay young